Hey there, you guys. Welcome back. Today, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, do a little bit of an unboxing video. This is a new thing that I purchased. I thought it was kind of fun. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, it's not sponsored. I just bought it off Amazon, and uh, I'll put the link down below just in case you want to look at it a little bit more, uh, just in case you're interested. Um, I find that it's a little bit expensive, but uh, I thought it was a cool idea. So this is a seed starter tray um, with built-in LED lights. So uh, it's great for seed starting. I might use it for propagations, uh, for areas that maybe don't have enough light that, because uh, in my house it's, it's quite dark and I don't want to have all my propagation stations near the windows where I've got valuable real estate for my plants that need more light. Uh, so uh, yeah. I have a really bad time with, with starting seeds, so I don't know if it's uh, necessarily going to be uh, totally a seed starter, um, but uh, I do have some seeds that I purchased. Uh, we're not going to do the seeds in this video because uh, it's a little early for me. Most of these uh, can be started about six to eight weeks um, ahead of time indoors before last frost, uh, so they're fast growers. I might try a couple of these. Some of them I'm going to direct sow, but... Uh, uh, in here, I want to maybe try the passion flower. Um, really excited about that one. Uh, some zinnia, I might try to start a couple. And uh, moonflower, potentially. I've never grown moonflower before. I hear a lot of great things about it. Uh, and uh, the thumbergia, the black eyed Susan vine, I want to do some of those as well. Uh, so whether I start them in this thing, that's we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so we're going to open this up. I think I paid $36 Canadian for this and uh, I thought the box would be a little bit bigger and uh, with taxes I think it was like $43 or $46. I can't remember. Uh, you'll see on the Amazon uh, site. Hopefully it's on sale. If it's on sale I might recommend it more. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try. Anyway, let's uh, move this camera around and we'll get an overtop view and we'll open this up, see what you get. And I want to try out the lights to see how bright they are. Um, kind of interesting. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so let's waste no more time and get this thing open. Again, very small box. <laughs> I think that there's five uh, seed trays in here. I'm hoping that they're deep enough uh, to put some propagations in. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the little seed cells. Uh, and there's one, two, three, four, five. Five of these. Uh, they're clear so you can see the root development. We've got five, one, two, three, four, five uh, little uh, trays to put the seed things in, the seed tr uh, cells. They're actually uh, not as flimsy as I thought they might be. Uh, they are not super thick, but uh, definitely of a size that you could potentially reuse them. And then this one, it's it's not uh, when I uh, try to bend it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't bend uh, easily, uh, but it's not super 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 thick either. Uh, so this is going to last a couple of seasons for sure. And then what else do we have in here? It came with some gardening gloves. I don't know that I'll be able to get my hands in here. <laughs> let's, let's try. I'm a big guy. Hopefully they stretch. Well, they come to my knuckle. <laughs> so that was a, a swing and a maybe. <laughs> they're, not, they're not awful. They're not awful. You can see <laughs> it stretched so much you can see my skin through there. <laughs> All right. So we got some gloves, we got a couple of uh, labels which will be helpful for seed starting, even propagations. Um, we've got some little vent holes, so with these vents, these are also where the LED lights are. So there's four uh, LED lights on each of the, uh, of the vents, so that's, uh, we'll see, we'll see how bright they are. They say that they're full spectrum, uh, so that's probably just that they're white lights. But we'll see when we turn it on. We should have five of those. Here's the uh, the power cords. Um, one thing that um, 
I didn't like so much, but it's also okay. Uh, they're all connected. It's one USB connects to all five little greenhouses. So you've got to keep them all in the same space. So if you're having them on a window ledge or something, maybe that will work. I don't even know that these will fit all together on a window ledge. I don't know. Uh, this cord is maybe two feet long uh, from, the, uh, from the USB to the little inputs. So I think it's about two feet. So I guess you can, you can uh, separate these guys out to about four feet across. So it'll probably fit on a window ledge if you have a power, support, uh, a power supply um, uh, close enough to the area where you're putting these. I say even putting them on the window ledge, uh, sometimes uh, in this time of year, if you have a north facing window or an, uh, yeah, north facing window, you might want to add supplemental light. Uh, we got this little dibbler and a little scoop. <laughs> I actually like this little scoop. Uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know what this is for, but uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I've seen this before, but I don't know what that's used for. And a little shovel with a, a plastic knife. I can cut some lettuce with this, maybe. <laughs> um, then we got the little domes here. How tall would these domes be? I'm going to go get my uh, tape measure and we'll see how tall these are. We got some instructions, but uh, how many people are going to read these instructions? I might. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see how flimsy or not so flimsy these uh, greenhouses are. Well, it's a nice thick plastic. Again, you can you can move it, but it's it's not as flimsy as some that I've seen. So that's not bad. Uh, it's about four inches from the uh, the top of the greenhouse to the. Uh, to the lip where it's going to meet the, um, let me get this. So it's about four inches tall. So it's, it's actually quite nice. It's not, it's not too small, but it is not huge. It'll allow your little seedlings to, to grow well. <clears throat> and then I've got my little, uh, led lights. I'm going to, there's a little hole in here. Can you see that little hole? I don't know whether the glare is, is uh, coming in. Uh, so we're going to poke them into the little greenhouse. I don't know if there's supposed to be a little, there's probably supposed to be a little uh, snap. I think it's in now. Yes, it's in. So I don't know if you're able to zoom in, Bill, uh, there's a little, little snap in here. They kind of poke together a bit. So they will, uh, they will clip into place and then you're able to uh, spin them so that uh, you can open up the vent holes or close the vent holes depending on how much humidity you want in there, which will be good for propagations and seedling. <laughs> so, okay, let's, uh, let's just put the one together and we'll see how bright it is. And uh, yeah. So another thing that this didn't come with is a little USB uh, power outlet adapter. Uh, so I'm going to need to go and find one of those and I'll be right back. It's kind of a good thing that everything comes with a, a USB power adapter uh, because I was able to find one quite easily in the house. It's just too bad that this didn't come with one. Okay, so we're plugged in and now I have to plug in the little USB Light? Oh, that's a nice little bit of light. Let me turn off the other lights in here and see uh, what we think of the amount of light. Okay, so the lights around me are off <laughs> and uh, it actually gives not so bad of light. Uh, we able to see in here. Uh, you can see that all four LEDs are working. Um, it'll be interesting to see how plants will grow in here. Perhaps I will do some updates uh, maybe in the uh, community section of, uh, of YouTube here and uh, take some photos of some seeds germinating and see if they're stretching too much or whatever. Uh, again, I'm not a seed grower. <laughs> I don't claim to be an expert on that. I kill them very, very frequently, uh, but uh, I, I'm a little lazy. I let them dry out or, uh, or they get too soggy. But anyway, uh, propagations, I think, is where this is going to be at. And uh, I think that this is adequate light. Uh, you don't want to overdo it, but you don't want too little light to have them stretch. So what are your thoughts on this product? 
I personally think that it's a little bit expensive. I think that if it was around the $20 mark, maybe uh, $25 max, uh, it might be a good buy. But uh, I think that uh, $36 is a little bit expensive. I love the idea that it has the LED lights built into the, uh, to the vent holes. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think if it was going to be the $46, I think that I would like to see... Let me turn on the lights in here. I would like to see this plastic to be a thicker plastic uh, so that it will last kind of forever uh, where you can easily wash it out without without breaking it. This is not bad, but it's not, it's not the best. Um, and also this to be a little bit more of a, a firm, thicker plastic as well, the greenhouse. Uh, these seed trays, that doesn't matter. You're only going to get a little bit of life out of them. You might get two seasons out of them, maybe. Um, but these are a standard size. You can buy these at the dollar store uh, and not, not worry about that. Also, you can use whatever you want in here as long as it fits. And uh, yeah, again, what are your thoughts? And uh, yeah, stay tuned for perhaps some propagation videos. I know that I want to propagate my uh, philodendron sodoroy. Uh, and this might be the perfect thing because it does have a slightly higher uh, dome here. Right now I have my, my plant is growing in a Ziploc bag uh, and it's got all kinds of side growths and I just want to propagate it out just in case I kill the poor thing. I want to have uh, some insurance policies. Anyway, uh, until next time you guys, happy growing. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I think I overspent. Anyway, until next time.